Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Batocera Nation. So one of the questions that people have asked at the Batocera forums is whether it's possible to use multiple hard drives at the same time within Batocera. And there's been a number of complicated uh, responses to that, including a direct link to the Batocera wiki page, which talks about storing a second USB drive within Batocera. And it seems quite complicated, right? Well, fortunately, the good news is there is an easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you how now. So today, I'm going to be providing a tutorial how you can add a second, maybe even a third drive of ROMs to your main system of Batocera, right? So on this particular computer, I have a Nook computer, right? I got two terabytes, but I also have two other portable hard drives attached to the main system. So let's go and check it out. All right. So press F1. You can see there, these are my two external hard drives, okay? Let's go to the ROMs. Let's go, we're going to add ColecoVision. We got nothing in ColecoVision. And PC Engine. See, we got nothing going on PC Engine, okay? But on my 5 terabyte hard drive, um, I got PC Engine, all right? So I'll select that folder. Go ahead, if you got, if you got, uh, media already scraped go ahead and copy that first so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first copy go to ROMs PC engine copy and paste it okay it's there all right I'll go back PC Engine. If everything has already been scraped, okay, and you know for a fact that this is up to date with all the scrapes and media media files, go ahead and also copy that to the PC Engine folder. All right. Now we can link the actual ROMs to this. Go back over here, go to ROMs, PC Engine. We're going to select these games. So let me give you a better view of this. Let's go with detail. Right, but let's go ahead and actually, you know, I can go ahead and select them all. Okay, they've all been selected now. Go into Edit, Create Link. Click on that. It's going to tell you where. So go to Home. Go to User Data. I clicked on this, and then go to User Data. Go to ROMs. Go to PC Engine. And that's it. Okay. Press OK. It's going to ask you, just go ahead and skip it. Since you already have it there, just go ahead and skip that and skip that one. Everything else is good to go. Now, if I go to ROMs, I go to my PC Engine folder, you can see there the links. See, so these games, these ROMs are not actually stored in my main Bato set of computer. It's being linked from my portable hard drive. Okay. All right. Now. Close that out. Go into game setting. Update games list. And my PC engine should be there. And there it is. Click on that. Since I had already scraped that all, the, all that ahead of time, it's over there. Okay. So let's go ahead and try one out.
See, it's running perfectly. It's working just well. All right. Let's get out of there. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Okay. Now, you can see from this list, I don't have ColecoVision. I'm going to try it again, right? With ColecoVision. There's no ColecoVision at all. Okay. Press F1. And my ColecoVision, I have it on this drive. See? There it is. So go ahead and select it. Go ahead and copy all the media. Go to ROMs, go to ColecoVision. Uh, let's click this. Right, paste it. All right, go back to my folder here. Go ahead and copy my gaming list. ColecoVision. Copy it there. Back over here. Alright, it's good to go. Now, let's go ahead and select it all. Edit. Create link. Go to home. What's right here? Alright. Go to ColecoVision. And it's right there. Press OK. That one again, just ignore it. Skip it. Skip that one. And just, it's all there. Now, if I go back to my original ROMs, you can see there the links. Okay? They're all there. Yeah. Go ahead and close it. Go ahead and Press start, go to game setting, update games list, and my ColecoVision should be here. Here it is. Let's go ahead and pick this one. And there it is. It's working. Get out of this. Now, if you are running but to set it off a thumb drive, it's flaky. It doesn't work as well as it do when it does when it's part of your main computer system. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, how it runs for off a thumb drive. All right. All right. So here we have Batocera 30 running on the thumb drive off my laptop, an HP laptop. So let me show you what's going on. We'll press F1. So you can see here I have my C drive, which is my internal drive where Windows is stored. This drive is only going to be a read-only drive. You can't write anything to it. I also have a D drive. It's also an internal drive off my laptop. Now when I boot it up, Nine out of ten times I boot it up, I'm going to see my D drive. Uh, I think 50% of the times I don't see my C drive. So it's not wise to store any ROMs on the C drive or, or try to link the C drive to Batocera. Uh, you say pretty much safe linking ROMs uh, onto the Batocera. We also have here an external hard drive. Also, nine out of ten times. If it's plugged in, when it boots up, you're going to see my external hard drive. Uh, if you have any problems where about to set is not seeing your hard drive, your portable hard drive, then the, my suggestion would be not to have it plugged in when it first boots up. Let it boot up and then plug it in. It's going to, of course, see it every single time. Also, it turns out originally on my thumb drive, I had about to set a version 29, and then I updated it 
to version 30 within the same thumb drive, within, within Batocera. When I plugged in a, a portable hard drive into it, it just wasn't, well, wasn't functioned properly. So what I had to do was I had to uh, reinstall Batocera version 30 onto the thumb drive from scratch. And that solved all my problems. So if you have any problems, Batocera not working properly, after you've updated on the thumb drive, just go ahead, copy your BIOS, copy your themes, copy your ROMs into an external hard drive, and then reinstall Batocera onto the thumb drive from scratch, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and link. You can see here, I'm gonna try to link to, to, to game systems. Okay, we got ColecoVision, we have nothing on it. And once again, PC Engine, all right? I got nothing on there, all right? So let's go ahead and link these two. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy everything to my ColecoVision, okay? Now you can not keep everything on the portable hard drive if you want to, but this is how I like to do it. I just like to run the drums off the portable hard drive and keep everything on the main system. Okay, well, fast forward this. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go back to click a vision. Let's go ahead and copy, since I have already everything scraped let's go ahead and copy that to the again to the main all right select it all edit create link go to go to home press this one here then you use the data. Click on user data. Click on ROMs. ColecoVision. Okay. Skip this one. All right. Let's go back. So I go back to ColecoVision. You can see they have been linked. All right. Let's do it again. Okay. Now let's go back. All right. Let's say we want to keep all this. On the portable hard drive. We're going to link everything, right? The PC engine here is empty. All right. So let's go ahead and do a second scenario. Just again, keep everything here. So let's go ahead and link everything. Control A. Create link. Press home. Look for user data. ROMs. PC engine right there and press OK. Skip that. All right, everything should be linked now. Let's go to ROMs, PC engine. You can see that everything's been linked the ROMs in the meter folders. All right, let's go ahead and close this out. Right now, again, you can see it's not there. Neither of them are there, right? So once again, press select on your, I'm sorry, start on your gamepad, game settings, update games list, yes. And there's ColecoVision, and there are the games. Oops. The last PC engine. All right, let's go back over here. Vision. Oops. All right. Let's go ahead and try it out. It works. You see it works per perfectly. All right, let's get out of this. 
and let's go to PC Engine. Right? Everything is there. All right, let's go ahead. Load up Gallagher 90. I might have to update my BIOS for that, but it's working properly. one so again uh, you can link it in the portable hard drive again if you have two internal drives on your laptop or your PC it's not a good idea to link any ROMs from your C drive because again every time it loads up sometimes it shows up sometimes it doesn't show up uh, my D drive nine out of ten times it did show up uh, and same thing with a portable hard drive so that's how you do it all right, that wraps it up. If you have found this useful, then uh, please like this video. That helps me out. If not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I've got more videos planned. Um, next video, I think either I'm going to work on uh, customizing Windows games on Batocera or customizing Dolphin Inhalator on Batocera. If you have a preference of the two, uh, please let me know in the comment section. All right? Uh, I'll work on that as quickly as possible. All right. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming. And I'll see you next time on Batasera Nation. Bye.